Welcome, I'm Douglas from CompuMatter and today we're gonna to show you a quick way to save your Windows state so that if something happens that causes your machine to stop booting correctly or be unstable while you're using it, this can help you revert back to when it was working properly. There are many ways you can get software corruption, anything from installing a program incorrectly or installing drivers or updates on a weak internet connection. And also Windows can just install the incorrect driver and then force it upon you and cause computer issues. This means that you don't necessarily have to do anything wrong in order for these issues to occur. What a piece of junk! Luckily, there is a way to save the state of your operating system back when it was functioning properly and be able to roll back to it if you run into an issue. Well, that's a relief. It's called a system restore. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to set up a restore point, And then you can use that if you get into a problem where the machine only boots into recovery mode as well as solve various other issues with instability within Windows. All right, let's get into it. Now to create a system restore point, um, and this is in Windows 7, 8, 10, and 11. I believe it's also in XP, but we're gonna do this tutorial in 11. You go down to the search bar and type in restore, and that'll give you the create restore point up at the top. It should be the first thing. And when you click on that, if this doesn't, if this window doesn't allow you to create a restore point, you can click the configuration button and turn on system protection. That'll allow you to be able to make a restore point. And from there, I usually like to label my restore point. Um, we'll go ahead and put working and then the date so I know when this one was made, when everything was working how it should, and how long it takes to make a restore point may vary depending on how much stuff you have on your machine. Now, restoring from the restore point will not affect personal files, so if you've made new files, it's not going to delete them, but vice versa, if you have deleted some files, it will not put them back. This is mainly for the operating system itself, so that if something gets corrupted or becomes unstable, you can revert back to a time when it was working smoothly. Then from there, if you're able to get into Windows and you're not just having boot problems and not getting into Windows at all, you can go to Recovery in the Start Menu area. And in Recovery, it'll take you to this page in the Control Panel in which you can open System Restore. Now this will give you a recommended restore point, but you can also choose from your various uh, points that you've made. Uh, say if a Windows update came through and made a restore point for you, you could go back before that update. Now I'll go ahead and show you what the recovery area looks like just in case you're not able to boot into Windows and how to run a system restore point from there. All right, let's go. All right, now if your machine is having a problem booting into Windows, you might be familiar with this screen. This is the recovery area. And what we want to do to get to our restore point is go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then down here is your System Restore. That'll load that same program up that'll allow you to choose a restore point. Let's choose. Choose wisely. I'll go ahead and go with the one that I just created and hit Next. And just for a second, there is this bottom option or button down here, scan for affected programs, and that'll tell you if you've installed something and it's going to uninstall it. Those things will show up here. Otherwise, once you've started a system restore point, it cannot be interrupted. If you do interrupt it, it can cause bigger software corruption issues and, and make it even harder to get back into the system. But we go ahead and let that run, and when successful, it will say at the end of it whether it was successful or not. If it fails, you can try another system restore point, but sometimes software corruption is bad enough to where you can't just undo it with this. But a lot of times it can save you. And once again, I'm Douglas from CompuMatter. Thanks for taking the time. Hope you've learned how to make a restore point and restore from it, and it saves you some time and frustration in the future. 
Uh, if you have any problems with getting your system up and running and this doesn't work, if you're located in Anacortes, Washington, go ahead and bring your computer down when you get the chance. We're open 11 to 5, Tuesday through Friday, and 11 to 4 on Saturday. Have a wonderful rest of the day.